Hello guys, my name is Chani SK, SAP FICO, S4 HANA Finance and MM China. Today I am going to discuss about SAP controlling module, product costing. Product costing is the sub-module of SAP CO and uh, we are uploading all short videos for you guys and so far I uploaded uh, free videos, uh, three classes and uh, you can also look at that uh, videos in the comment box and uh, you will find over there. So today concept I am going to tell you uh, what is BOM and some importance in the product costing. If you are completely new to this channel and watching my videos first time, please subscribe right now and hit the bell icon. And uh, as you did, in the last videos, you can, you can also uh, look at over here and I explained what is product costing and also explained objectives of the product costing and uh, how the costing will be happened and what is material cost estimate with quantity structure and how the COGM should be calculated and COGS and uh, also explained uh, SAP uh, CO module product costing integration with the other class modules and also explained the material cost with quantity structure and uh, so product costing with planning and also explained the uh, so bill of material bomb okay and uh, the role of bill of material in SAP PP module and what are the T codes and tables generally used? So this is the topic I'm going to cover in the couple of minutes. So you can also find my videos in the playlist. Uh, all the product costing videos I'm going to upload. And uh, today I'm going to tell you what is bill of material. So BOM. BOM is uh, one of the master data in the PP module. So bill of material, um, you know, it's a completely master data. It contains the information of components, their quantities and required to produce an assembly or finished good, FG. So in order to produce FG, FG means finished good, so we need some components. So without these components, we cannot say that product is a fi uh, finished good, right? So example, you can take it, uh, one computer, right? So computer is a finished product. So this is combination of CPU, keyboard, monitor and mouse. So without this, we cannot say it's a computer, right? So these are all assemblies are included to the finished product. The bill of material contains the item number of each component quantity in the manufacturing of product and unit measurement of the item. So the bill of material represents so quantity required to produce the finished product and how much quantity is required to produce the finished product and what are the assemblies that we need to add to the pro finished product and what is that quantity and what is the basic measurement unit of that item so these are all things should be considered in the bill of material so bill of material is also called as BOM and this is one of the master data in SAP PP module so bill of material helpful in the production planning so this is material BOM so there are several kind of bombs will be there material BOM, equipment BOM functional location bomb, order bomb and WBS bomb. So bomb stands for bill of material. Material bomb generally used in the production planning. Equipment bomb generally used in the plant maintenance. Functional location bomb used in the plant maintenance. Order bomb used in the sales and distribution. WBS bomb is used in the project system. Okay. And the role of SAP bill of materials. So this, uh, what is the role of bomb? So bomb should be used in uh, many aspects. Uh, one of three has been given over here. Material requirement planning. So this bomb uh, used in the material requirement planning and product costing, material consumption also. So um, the role of SAP uh, bill of material in uh, PP module. Um, generally this is linked with product costing and this is one of the master data and definitely helpful in MRP planning, product costing, material consumption. What is the usage of uh, bomb in costing? So in order to uh, finalize the finished goods cost, uh, we need to follow, there are two types of prices. One is uh, moving average price and the second one is uh, uh, standard price. Generally for finished products, we need to use the standard price. Standard costing is very important for us. So product costing comprise of raw material cost, activity cost and overhead cost. So all costs inclu included, then you will find the product cost, right? So here, raw material price is maintained in the material master. See, raw material main, uh, price should be maintained in the material master. So in material master, there are two types of prices that we can maintain. 
one is standard price and second one is moving average price in this uh, next sessions i am going to tell you what is the difference between standard price and moving price also and uh, during the finished goods of product costing the sap system performs uh, costing of its component by exploding the bomb so in order to make a finished product we need some components assemblies so without this we cannot say directly it's a final product or fg so uh, this bomb will definitely helpful to exploding the uh, cost of each component like raw material cost labor cost activity cost and overhead cost these are all things should be um, finalized by using this bomb during the product costing sap system multiplies quantity in bomb and see in, in bomb we need to maintain the quantity of uh, all the accessories components uh, and uh, finished product also so during the product costing what system generally do it uh, multiplies the quantity in bomb with material master price so here in material master we need to uh, maintain two types of prices right moving average price and standard price so it determine its cost again is the particular fg so in order to determine the finished goods uh, so one we need to maintain quantity in bomb and the second one is we need to maintain price in the material master system multiplies quantity in bomb and material master price then you will find the finished goods finished goods price so uh, this bomb definitely helpful in uh, costing and usage of bomb in production consumption so production consumption also this bomb should be helpful when production order is created when production order is created for assembly or fg bomb components are component to the order and at the time of goods issued against the order system post the consumption based on the bomb components in order so actually here at the time of uh, uh, creation of the production orders uh, the system uh, will pick the quantity from the bomb so at the time of goods uh, issued against the order system post consumption based on the bomb so here i already told you different kind of bombs we have uh, one is uh, uh, material bomb and equipment bomb and creation location bomb and order bomb and wbs so bomb is nothing but bill of material right so what are the tables generally used in the bomb see here i listed out some of the tables which are very vital for uh, uh, looking out the bomb related so sk T uh, stko is the bomb header stpo is bomb item stas is the bomb item selection MAST is the material to bomb link, MARC is the plan, plant data for material, MARE for general material data, MAKT for material description. These are all uh, tables are very important. The first three, four tables are STKO is the bomb. In order to look out the bomb header data where it uh, uh, stored, STKO. So um, the bomb item data will be stored in the STPO and the bomb's item selection will be stored in STAS and the material to bomb link stored in the MAST so these are all the uh, bomb related tables will definitely helpful to you uh, in order to look out the bomb header data items and item selections so these are all important areas and what are the T code generally to creation of the bomb uh, and display bomb and change bomb so here CS01 for bomb creation CS02 for bomb change and CS03 for bomb display so this is the basic idea of uh, um, BOM and this BOM generally used in multiple different areas uh, in uh, generally multi uh, this bomb should be used in the material requirement planning product costing and material consumption also so thank you very much guys uh, for watching this video and please subscribe and hit the bell icon and we are uploading all the short videos for you guys please uh, follow up uh, these videos definitely helpful to crack any kind of interview and at least you will get the basic knowledge on product costing. So thank you so much for your support. This is Chani SK signing off.